Hello, Taurus, and welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your reading for the month of June. I have meditated upon the cards, and I have pre-shuffled. As always, I will shuffle live. Um, I want to take this opportunity to thank those who stuck around with me um, during the month of May where I did not have a video. So thank you so very much for that. I truly appreciate it. But hooray, we are back with video. So I'm super excited about it. All right. So let's take a look here. We have follow the leader as your Oracle card. And if we're looking at this Oracle card, look at that, look how beautiful that is. I love this card. Look where it leads. It leads, whoops, just kidding. Look at this tree. Looks like, I don't think it's cherry blossom, but it looks like cherry blossom, but I don't think that it is. But look at this beautiful tree on a hill with a clock. If you're expecting to get somewhere on time, don't worry about the time. Enjoy the present. Okay? Don't worry about um, time. Enjoy the present. And this follow the leader to me is not necessarily following anybody in particular. This is really about following your instincts, following your gut. That which you know is going to lead you down the path of fulfillment, whatever fulfillment looks like for you. Because it looks like it is filled with lots of love and support. You know, it's almost like a fairy tale, this card. I mean, we have a fairy, we have a goose, we have some birds. It's, I love this. I love this. Okay. We have the Page of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, in, not Swords, the Ten of Wands in Reverse, and the Three of Cups. You know what I'm getting here is the fact that you have a dream. You have a dream, but you need to ask for help so that you can unburden the load in order to celebrate so you can obtain this, okay? You know, it's funny how we go from somebody that I'm seeing a very confident person here, Taurus. I'm seeing a very confident person. And although I feel like you need to ask for help, I also feel like you've chosen, for some of you, obviously, some of you have chosen to step away from something, um, to get out of a situation. You're choosing to be out in the code, cold. I don't have a specific example, but that's, that's what's coming to me. It, it's like, it's like inside here, there is a group of people that all 
um, think the same, feel the same, do the same things. And you just don't align with that. Maybe you did at one point, maybe you didn't, I don't know. Um, but I feel like maybe if it felt good at one point, right? Maybe if it, maybe this is, you, you were holding this previous. So maybe, okay, I have a really weird story coming to me. If this is how you started off with this dream, this is how you felt. You're like, yes, I can accomplish this. And now you're like, all right, I've, I'm burnt out. Like where you were enthused before, now you're burnt out and you're like, I don't want to be a part of whatever this was that I had dreamed about. I'm, I'm over it, right? So maybe you've been doing this for quite some time and you're like, all right, I'm done. I'm, I'm ready to skedaddle, place your burdens down and celebrate, do something new, you know? Um, I feel like you are, you know, the word liberating is coming to mind with this particular card. It's like you are liberating yourself from something that was once a dream, but now feels like a burden. With the Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles, all in reverse, and the Eight of Cups here, I'm really getting the sense that you were way too focused on something and you ne neglected other things, causing you not to be internally stable. Like your, like your core right? The things that you truly love. It's like you let those things go. All right. Take it how it resonates, you guys. So let's say, for instance, you were too focused on a career. And now you like, you know, let's say you studied to be an attorney and you, you know, you're an attorney for a long time and you're just so exhausted. So you decide that you want to leave this and free yourself of the burdens, right? This is telling me that you were just so focused on this particular dream that you kind of let other things kind of falter. Not to say that you are not, you're not steady or balanced on the inside, but there's definitely something missing. You know, what I'm getting here is a wobbly table. You know how sometimes when you go to a, ta um, a restaurant and there's a table that's a little bit wobbly, it's a little bit off. That's, that's a sensation that I'm getting with this particular four of wands. Something's off and you feel it, you know it. You feel it, you know it. Okay. And I feel like you've already made up your mind about a particular situation. I feel like you, you've you already walked away. You've decided to place your burdens down. Maybe you didn't necessarily walk away just yet, but I do see you walking away. Because you've decided. Maybe, you know, you have one last project or I don't know. What a one last client. I, I don't know. Um, oh, sorry. That all just jumped on out. If it, um, if it's meant to be, it'll come right back out. Good golly. Seriously. Nope. Spread said no. All right. Um, but I feel like your, your decision is made. I don't feel like you're juggling anything anymore. I feel like you're like, I'm doing it and that's it. And, and you decided to move forward. Congratulations. I feel like this is something that you've been struggling with, with for a while. And you know what? Maybe you were following what everybody else was doing, right? Like here, everybody else that was in here. I feel like 
I feel like that's what everybody else is doing. You were following all of that, but now you're saying, no, I'm going to follow my own, my own truth, my own intuition. I'm going to do what makes me happy with this clock. You might be in your forties. I don't know. Um, but with this clock, it says, what time does that say? Three o'clock. I think that says three o'clock. It isn't too late. You're not too old. Don't worry about time. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, look at there, you guys. Look at there. We have the Page of Swords in reverse. We have the Knight of Coins. We have the Four of Wands, and we have the Sun. Follow your truth. You're not sharing your truth with anybody else. It's like you you were neglecting your truth. You were neglecting your truth, and now you're ready to speak. You, you already know your truth, and you're only going to follow that, that, in, that instinct. Okay? Why? Because you, you're wanting something stable. You're wanting something... You're wanting something stable. Spirit wanted me to look at the bottom of the deck. I didn't know what was in there, so. Um, you're wanting something stable. And I'm telling you, something stable is going to come. You, you got your grounding. Once you walk away, you, you find your footing. That is but you create it. Do you see the difference between this and this? This is you actually creating it. Okay? And it leads to your happiness, your ultimate happiness. Yeah, you, you started off feeling like this. So long ago, you were a page. Now, look at you. When this happens, you get this. You feel like a baby basking in the, in the sun, full of love and happiness and joy, all because you decided to follow your truth to gain your own stability. I'm telling you, you're creating this. I'm also getting the sense that somebody new is coming your way. I'm gonna get another card here. If I'm getting the sense that somebody new is coming your way. But I'm telling you, once you lay your burdens down, well, first let's go here. You walk away. Right, You choose to walk away because you're not feeling grounded. Not feeling grounded, you walk away, you get groundedness. You walk away from your burdens. You choose it clearly. You've chosen it. What do you get? Stability. You celebrate the fact that you've made this, 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 this decision, you celebrate and you walk away towards the unknown. What happens when you go towards the unknown? You get the sun, pure happiness, all because you followed your instincts. You spoke your truth. I just want to make sure that um, if there's, a, whoop, sorry, I just kind of fell out. Whoa, hold on. What was that? Where did it go? Where'd it go?
justice, you might find somebody that you marry. Because justice and the four wands together, four wands can be a card about marriage. So can justice. All right, one more. They say one more. I'm going to go one more. Taurus, one more. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? High Priestess. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. What's, what's down there? Four of Swords in reverse. You can lay your burdens down. I feel like you're not resting yet, but you will. And what's below that? Six of Wands. A freaking victory. A victory right next to the sun. I mean, really? Taurus. Follow your intuition. Keep going into the unknown. There's a mystery person coming your way. That's what I'm getting. Somebody who's highly intuitive. Okay? If this isn't a person, this is something that... This is the card I want. The deck I want. This is going to be something that really brings that much more balance into your life. You might not be... You might not be meant to know. Is that? I'm not even sure if I'm speaking proper English at this point. Um, but basically what I'm trying to say is maybe the universe doesn't want you to know what's ahead. You just keep following the unknown. Okay? Trust it. Trust it. I love it. All right. Coyote spirit. Trust it. Divine feet doors. Oh, my God. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> literally literally what i was just saying oh my god just trust trust the unknown just trust it <laughs> i swear I, this is why i love video i love audio because it's so much more simpler but i mean for freaking sakes you can't make this up <laughs> seriously Trust divine detours. It doesn't matter how old you are, okay? Don't worry about that. By the way, I forgot to talk about this Knight of Wands. The person coming in could be quite fiery, so they could be a fire sign, okay? Or they could have a lot of fire in, in their chart. I don't know. Think of how it resonates. Imagine. May you look beyond what can be seen. Just in divine detours. Look beyond what can be seen. Keep going. I know it's the unknown and that's okay. It's totally fine. Just, <laughs> there's nothing more to say about this. Basically, keep imagining you obtaining whatever it is you're wanting. Okay? It feels like your um, uh, manifestation uh, abilities right now are fairly high. I mean, freaking really? Good golly. Motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say, get busy doing it. Literally, isn't that what I just said? Imagine it. Do it. Whatever you've been thinking about, your manifest manifestation levels are high right now. Your manifestation abilities are high. But you've got to get going. you gotta, you got to do something. Okay, that jumped out. The wildling. This is um, what you should be doing right now. Um, what can you focus on for the month of June? The wildling uh, calls for you to be more, um, more adventurous, more creative. Go do 
things that you aren't, take action. I mean, literally, take action. If you're motivated to go do something, let's say you want to meet somebody, you're not going to meet somebody at home. This is saying, go be adventurous. Go do something, okay? Whatever it is you want to do, something that appeases you, because if it's something that appeases you and you meet somebody there, then you know that it's something that they enjoy as well. You have common ground at that point, right? If you're looking for a new job, go and and, and maybe you don't have the skill just yet, go and do something. Go and go get creative. Go Let's say you want to start a podcast and you've never done a podcast before. Go get creative. Go try it. Go try it. You never know what's going to come of it. If it doesn't come, if anything comes out of it, if nothing comes out of it, then don't worry about it. You can scratch it and start over. To me, this is nothing but youthful, creative energy. I don't care how old you are, right? Don't worry about how old you are. Focus on your energy, on your creativity. I feel like that's what was lacking here. That is what was lacking here. All right, my dear ones, that's what I have for you. Congratulations, Taurus. Looks like it's going to be a solid month um, for the month of June. I feel like you've done a lot of work um, this first half of the year. I feel like you've been uh, going through some stuff because I, I feel like We've been discussing you moving forward for a while now, and it looks like you're finally taking action. So congratulations. All right. So if this reading did resonate, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me, please. And thank you um, for those who have already subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. Um, I'm truly grateful for you all. I wouldn't be here without you. Uh, I, I am just so grateful that you stuck around with me <laughs> while I was having all sorts of other uh, projects going on. So thank you so much for that. All right, my dear ones, thank you again. Have yourself an amazing month. Bye.